welcome to part two of the tutorial. In part one, we learned how to make a single um, a server for a single connection. Now we're going to make the client for that server. Go to File, Add, New Project, and name it Client. Same thing from last time, using system.net using system.net.sockets now static socket sock sock equals new socket address family inner network socket type dot stream protocol type dot tcp now we have to make our endpoint. IP endpoint, local endpoint equals new IP endpoint, IP address dot parse, 127.0.0.1, local address, and port 1234. So what this does is it creates a endpoint for the address 127.0.0.1 and port 1234. Okay, now we will attempt a connection. We need a try catch statement. Sock.connect local endpoint. You can use an IP endpoint or you can just use the actual data here depending on what you want to do. Now it's going to attempt a connection and if the connection fails it'll catch it here without the entire application crashing and let's write console.write unable to connect to remote endpoint and we'll call our main void again. And if everything goes through, then it'll connect and then it'll just skip this whole section and go down to the code below. So once the connection's made, console.write enter text and then string text equals console dot read line byte data equals encoding dot ASCII dot get bytes text. Now what this does is it'll write to the console, enter some text, and you type in what you want, and then it'll read the line once you press enter, transfer it over to this variable, and then after that's done make a new variable called data and then the encoding class will get the bytes from the text and transfer it to this variable. Now we will send our data. Sock.send data and then console.write line .write data sent console.write press any key to continue console.read sock.close okay now quick summary socket for our connection local IP endpoint it will attempt to connect. If no connection is made, it will say unable to connect to remote endpoint, and then it will call our main function again, and console.write enter text. It will transfer the red text to this variable. It will get the bytes, send it, write to the console, data has been sent, press any key to continue, it will read, and then close. Now let's test our newly coded 
client saw server connection. Now when you first do this, your solution explorer might not be here. You might just have this. So click solution explorer up here. This will pop up. Right click on the client. Debug. Start new instance. Now as you can see, uh, okay. as you can see, a connection has been made, so it's asking me to enter text. And as you can see, the data was sent. The server received it. Now press enter to close, enter to close. And that is your simple client server connection. Next tutorial, I will show you how to handle multiple connections.